Owen Beardsmore and Service UK have provided us with plenty of fantastic hunting opportunities over the past few years. From UK deer including all six British species, red, seeker, fallow, roe, muntjac and Chinese water deer, to hunting chamois in the Slovenian Alps. We've made the trip over to Prague on several occasions and have taken part in Owen's annual driven hunt. Each and every time we've hunted with Service UK, we've had a great time and a successful hunt. Tonight we follow Service UK head honcho Owen Beardsmore as he heads across the continent on his own special hunt. He's heading for the Alps with good friends on an incredibly challenging hunt for chamois. Hi, my name is Owen Beersmore from Service UK and tonight I'm in Switzerland. I'm in a place called Chrissier uh, with a good friend of mine uh, over here hunting. And tonight we're guests of uh, one of my um, clients, Benoit Vallier, at his fantastic restaurant, uh, Five Star Michelin, and uh, we're going to go in and have a nice meal. A little fine dining before they head out into the mountains and Owen enjoys his evening. In the morning, there's time for a coffee before the hunting party gather for a day on the hill. I'm over here with Team Wild today, um, trying to climb a big mountain to shoot a chamois. I've hunted chamois on many occasions before now, but never in the French Alps, and that's where we are today. It's uh, mid-October, there's a crisp feeling to the air, and all the leaves are starting to change. It really is absolutely fantastic to be up here. We've got a long climb, and hopefully we're going to find a decent chamois book to take on film. The scenery here is breathtaking. From the snow-covered mountaintops to the quaint village in the bottom of the valley, chamois hunting is a very special trip for most hunters. The small goat-like creatures live high up in the mountains and can be very tough to get to. There's often plenty of walking and high altitudes to contend with before you've even got a chamois in your sights. The air is thin and walking can be tough. As they climb higher and higher, there's even more signs of life. As they move through the cover of the trees, they keep their eyes peeled. As they glass the mountainside, it's encouraging to see there's game on the move. It's up here on the steep mountain sides that chamois spend their days. Two hours and uh, we've just 
just seen a vulture catching some thermals upon the top here, which has also made my afternoon. That's the next vulcan then. Absolutely fantastic. Well, we've seen so much wildlife today. We've seen um, roebuck, red deer, vultures, vulcans, and uh, lots of different bird species, including the black cock. The hazel hen, so it's been fantastic. I'm just walking back down here, and it's just come past this massive wood ant's nest. A lot bigger ant than we have at home around the houses. And they make this huge house by collecting all little bits of wood and pine needles. Fantastic. Day two, and Owen is out just after dawn. Just beyond the cover here, there's two chamois in the open ahead of them. the chamois in his sights. It's standing broadside and Owen takes his chance. it was about 280, 285 metres or something like that. Uh, and he's now lying um, about 170 metres in front of us, so we're going to walk up to him now. Oh. Thank you, Charlie. Fantastic. Well, you probably just saw a fat lad trying to get up some scree, and this is what I was coming up for. Fantastic book. Yes. How old do you think it is, Charlie? I don't know. I just have to look. Last shot was um, bang on the money, and you saw him come down. So, uh, fantastic book. Do you mind just taking that? It's empty, Charlie. Fantastic book, and I'm. Uh, very happy with that. Fantastic. Just before the rut. Incredible. Incredible beast. How they live up on these scree slopes. Just living on the little bit of browse they can find. 
It's incredible. He's such a big boy. Biggest one I think I've shot, so uh, for me, incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's uh, been an absolute pleasure to be out. Oh, we've had a great hunt, and uh, this is my guide, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie, for a fantastic time. Um, I think I've lost. I think I've lost a few kilos just walking up here. Um, Charlie's 29 years old. He's been guiding for the last six or seven years, and um, it, it really is a pleasure to be out and be guided by somebody who knows the area like he does. While we've been up here, we've heard marmots squeaking at us like that, like an alarm call. And if you can hear in the background, well, that's a cow. But earlier on, we could hear a red stag. Just across from where we are is a, a, a national park, and it's just absolutely stuffed with wildlife. On the way up, we saw a black cock um, just on the side of the road. And um, the other game we can get here is uh, roe deer, yeah? Yeah, it's roe red deer, deer. Red deer. Yeah. Um, chamois. Chamois. Marmot. Marmot. What other wolf. thing? Wolf, oh, yes. wolf, yes. Wolf, fox. Wolf, the wolf's becoming more and more over here, isn't it? Yes. Small there problem. Is more and more, and the national park is a reserve of, and uh, they come here, and after we go in the national park and um, um, eat. Um, and would a wolf, deer. wolf would kill roe deer? Yes, road, the, the population of the roe deer go, go down, down when they're there. Mm, worrying, yeah. Yes. We hear it a lot in the um, difficult in the European shooting press how the wolf is coming from the east now and coming into Western Europe and uh, the problems it's causing with livestock and things like that, yeah. Yes, it's the same problem. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm sure one day it'll come back onto the hunting list. Not at the moment, but um, I'm sure in the end, as the population comes up, they'll have to do something to control them. But anyway, that's enough about the wolf. This is my chamois. We need to get it down yes. and let's go and have a beer to celebrate, mate. Okay? Yes. Fantastic. Thank Fantastic. you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Obviously. Take care. As always, there's a tough walk to get into a shot, but it's always worth it. Now it's time to process the animal. It's been another fantastic hunt provided by Service UK and Owen has bagged his chamois.